Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Okay, we're going to talk about the narcissist. And if you are waiting for that narcissist to apologize to you, it's never going to happen. And I'm going to tell you why. You see, um, let's go from the beginning for any new people who are new to the channel. So you don't get lost here. Let's define the narcissist. The narcissist is a person who has accepted the evil Jezebel spirit into their lives. And this evil spirit is controlling this person. That's a narcissist. I am a spiritualist and I talk, everything I talk is from the spiritual perspective. It's not religious, it's the spiritual perspective. Okay, now we know what the narcissist is. He is evil. He is possessed with an evil spirit. Now, this narcissist, if you, you have a narcissist in your life, he is hurting you. He is hurting your feelings. He is disrespecting you. And narcissists can be women too. But the, I talk I talk for the women because there's nobody out there talking for us. Okay? And I know I know there are some men on this channel and I just want to take this opportunity to say welcome to you. I am glad that you are here. And I am really happy that you comment. You see? Just let us know what you think. I I appreciate it so much. So keep your comments coming. That's for the men who have joined the channel. Now, for you women, knowing that the narcissist can either be male or female, the spirit has no gender. Okay, so it can go into a female or it can go into a male. But in today's society, it seems, even though the clinicians say this, it seems that there are more males with this characteristic than females. I don't know if the females are less detectable or what. But anyway, we're going to concentrate on the male narcissist now because that's where my experience is. A lot of male narcissists in my life. Now, my father being a narcissist is one thing I that I uh, noted about him. I never heard my father apologize for anything. Anything. In my whole life. My father's passed away now. I never heard him apologize for anything. And there were plenty of things that he did that deemed an apology... He never apologized to me. I've never heard him apologize to anybody else. Now, he could have. But I never heard it. I never heard it. And the narcissist that I was with for six years that disrespected me at every opportunity hurt my feelings and all of that. Made me cry. All of that. He never apologized for any of it. But now that you understand that it's an evil spirit that you're dealing with, you can understand why the, why the evil spirit is not apologizing because what he's doing to you is intentional. It's not a mistake. He didn't, he, he didn't mistakenly hurt your feelings. He intentionally hurt your feelings. Number one, because he wanted that supply. He wanted that energy. That that energy from you, that hurt energy, that damaged energy. You see, it's, it's all supply. Sometimes he likes a different supply, you see, for something else. So he'll have you going up and down, up and down on a roller coaster. So he can get different supply from you. And plus, sex is a different supply. You see, he's got supply all sorts of flavors. All sorts of flavors. This is the narcissist. But 
when I was, unfortunately, when I was growing up <clears throat> and when I was with this, this narcissist, which was my last relationship, I didn't know anything about narcissism. Like a lot of people don't. I heard the term a narcissist and I thought it was just a jerk. You know, somebody who's just a jerk. But it's a lot more than that. It is a lot more than that because this evil spirit can destroy you, your life here. He can destroy you. Make your life a living hell. You see? But that is the mission of the narcissist. So never expect an apology. I know, um, I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, my narcissist and, uh, you know, that, that those of you who, who are on the channel all the time, you know, I always talk about my narcissist is just a little pet name, but the, my demon. <laughs> okay. That I dealt with because this particular experience is what kicked me off into my spirituality. This was the lesson in my relationship with the narcissist. That if I pass the test, now I've ascended. I've ascended spiritually to a higher level. That's why I'm telling you. When you have challenges in your life, don't despair and, you know what I mean, and get all sucked into the, you know, into the trouble and, you know, the disappointment and all that. Because if you keep your wits about you, you will see the blessing that's right behind it. Right behind the challenge. All you got to do is keep the faith through the challenge and pass the test. It's a lesson. It's a lesson. When I was with the narcissist, I'm telling you, he came to me one day and this was uh, after he had discarded me. This was one of the comebacks, you know, because narcissists, they never really discard you. You know, they just recycle you. They come back later for you. So here he comes back. And he's trying to convince me that he's changed and that he is spiritual now. He is spiritual now. So he comes and uh, <laughs> he uh, uh, quotes to me uh, some passages from uh, some of the uh, spiritual gurus out there, you know, just to prove to me that he's changing, right? So then he tells me, that he's even gone around and apologized to all of the people that he has hurt along the way. So now, 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 check this out. Now, check this out. He's telling me this. And he's hurt me a whole six years. He didn't apologize to me. So I listen to him. I listen. And then I say, well, you know, you never apologize to me. Now, the narcissist, see, he played so many games. He knew that. He was trying to make me feel some sort of way by telling me that story. So then when I say, you never apologize to me, then he comes up and gets his face all together, you see. Then he comes out with this canned speech that he probably wrote, <laughs> that he probably wrote, I was a, wrote out of apology. You know it was fake. It was. Listen. The narcissist does not care. About you. His intent is to hurt you. So. Don't. Don't. Uh, wait for an apology. Never. I. You know. When I was growing up. I kept waiting for my apology. From my people. I never got. I never got one. They did all sorts of things to me growing up. Nobody never apologized. They felt like they had the right or whatever. The right. But if you do something, let me tell you, apologizing, 
apologizing. There's, it's a blessing to apologize to people. If you hurt somebody and you know that you hurt somebody, apologize. If you feel like you, you didn't mean to hurt them, you know, or now you see something in a different light. Because even I, I have uh, chastised people because of my perspective at the time. But then when I realize something, a different perspective, I may go back and say, you know what? I apologize because at the time I didn't realize this, 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 and this. Please accept my apology. Yeah. And now your heart is free. The narcissist, he's already lost his to the demon. There's nothing inside that narcissist but the demonic spirit. And the thing about it is the narcissist has no control. The demon has full control of the narcissist. He cannot resist. When the demon says to do something over here, he can't resist it. He has to do it. That's a frightening thing. That's a frightening thing. Now, fortunately, my narcissist was not violent, but he was emotionally abusive. I mean, to the highest he was. But <clears throat> during that time, I, I'm not really a fighter. You know, I usually just walk away or whatever. I don't, I don't like conflict. So I, I'm not a fighter, but, uh, if, <laughs> if the narcissist plays some of those games with a person who is a fighter, then I know that it gets violent. I can see how it can get very violent. You see, narcissists are evil. Evil. I, I, I know um, it's hard for people to understand that because, because we have been groomed to, um, to believe that evil looks a certain way. It looks horrible. It has horns. It's, you know what I mean? It's a terrible face. And you know what I mean? But you see ordinary people, you see ordinary people every day. But the narcissist is a demon. Is a, it's, it's a demon. And the demon has possessed this person. Has possessed this person. I know it's hard for people to understand that. Because TV makes possession look crazy. I mean, you know, a person that's possessed is all over the place and acting all weird or whatever. Listen. <laughs> Demons are ancient entities and very intelligent entities. You cannot outsmart these entities. The best you can do is to protect yourself. Protect yourself. And a way to do that. Now, the thing about these, these negative entities they exist in a low vibration where a lot of confusion and chaos and violence and all of that happens in a low vibration. That's why it's important for you to lift your vibration above that and then you won't be affected by these lower energies. Now, when I got involved with my narcissist, I was in the low vibration. I was in the low vibration. That's probably why I attracted the narcissist. You see? But I have been working on myself and healing myself to raise my vibration. To raise my vibration toward happiness and abundance. That's what's happening up here. Happiness and abundance. That's where you want to be. But don't waste your time trying to get any kind of validation from the narcissist. You never, ever, 
ever, ever, ever going to get it. All you ever get from the narcissist is a beat down. It, and a stab in the back. He's out there talking to people about you. Telling them all kind of lies about you. Making you making you look crazy. And all of that. I know mine did. Mine did. I could already tell that he was talking to his people in a negative way about me. About me. And there was no reason. I mean, we didn't fight or, or argue a lot or anything like that because I, I, you know, I'm not that type of person. You know, he would say things to hurt my feelings and then I would just go away, come back another time. You know, I, w I wouldn't entertain it. But I know he was going back telling his people stories because when I would see them, they they'd be funny. They they act a little funny. Act a, act a little funny. You see? And then when I wasn't in their company anymore, he would criticize me. <laughs> he would criticize me that I didn't pay enough attention to them. Things like that. This is the narcissist. You could, he's never satisfied with anything. He's never, ever satisfied with anything. And he likes chaos because it's evil. Chaos all the time. Whether it's an undertone chaos or if, it's, if your whole house is just upside down. The narcissist will never apologize, not to you, not to anybody. Because they feel like what they're doing is justified. Because to them, it is. It's justified because they have a mission to seek and destroy. So why apologize? Why apologize when they mean to hurt you? That's the point. That's the point. So if they come to you, I'm going to tell you. If you've been with a narcissist and uh, he comes back and, you know, he wants to give you this fake apology and then he'll love bomb you again. You know, sometimes they'll do that when they feel like you might be slipping away out of their control. They come back with the love bombing again. Get you all hyped up that, yeah, he really loves you now. And then as soon as he feels like you're comfortable again, all right, here comes the devaluing again. And the disrespect. And the hurting your feelings. You see? It's a cycle. It's a never-ending cycle. That's all it is. And and uh, the love bombing is just to get to capture you. That's all it is. It's not that he cares he loves you. That's all it is. It's just to capture you. Now, I know, ladies, you get excited when a guy, you meet a guy and he'll send you a hundred roses. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. This guy must really like me. Better wait. <laughs> Take your time with that one. It looked like love bombing to me. You understand? You understand? All that glitters is not gold. You have to be so, so very careful out here, ladies. Ladies are the one that's getting destroyed in all this mess. If if this narcissist comes back and tries to apologize to you, it's just because he wants to put you back on that wheel. On that cycle. On that cycle again, just to keep you tied in. That's all it is. And it's not just you. He's got other people. He's doing, he, he's doing everybody. He's got plenty of people. He's doing the same thing too that he's doing to you. At the same time, the narcissist cannot be without supply. It's like 
oxygen to him. He's got to have it. He's got to have it. And his supply is, is your emotions, your reactions to whether it's good or it's horrible. And when he gets sex from you, that is a powerful supply. And if it's depraved sex, it's even more powerful. You understand? This is all evil. All evil. I know a lot of us, you know, <laughs> we think it's something that's going to happen way off, way off the battle between good and evil. Way off, you know, it, it's happening right here in front of your eyes, right in your families, right in your families. This demon is just coming in and taking over. Watch your children. The demon is in their little ears because he loves to get them when they're little. Especially if a child is being neglected in any way. That demon is going right to that one. Right to that one. Ladies, watch out for these narcissists and don't wait for them to apologize because it will never, ever happen. He is not sorry for anything that he has done to you. It's intentional. He means to hurt you. He means to take your money. He means to take all of your time. That's right. He means to take advantage of your body. These are the ways of the narcissist. And these are the ways of men who have taken on narcissistic characteristics. It's the same evil spirit. Ladies, I hope you understand. I hope you understand this and be careful because <laughs> these narcissists are everywhere. I mean, <laughs> everywhere. You have to be so, you have to take your time. That's how you weed it out. You got to take your time. Don't jump into anything. And don't make, don't let anybody think that you're desperate to be with them. Don't be desperate to be with these people. That's one way you get tripped up. That is one way you get tripped up. You see? But I hope that you understand this message. And again, I, I want to thank the men. I, I'm just tickle pink that the men are on this channel and, and leaving some comments. So uh, I love it. Keep it coming. And those of you who, uh, who are supporting this channel, I thank you so much. I thank you for your donations and I thank you for your comments. I read them and I, I, I try to, I try to respond to as many as I can. So keep them coming. And uh, I love you all. And I wish you all the happiness, the happiness that the universe can bring you. So I wish you all well. And I hope to see you next time.